Regional Prosecuting Authority has confirmed that Magdalene Monsami has submitted a notice to withdraw a singer Kelly Kumalo's watching brief in the Senzo Meiwa murder trial. Monsami was part of a legal team observing the trial without being directly involved. No reasons have been given for the withdrawal. The trial has resumed at the Pretoria High Court with Kumalo's sister Zandile continuing with her testimony. Sinawa Makangela is a legal expert and he joins us now to take a look at what this new piece of information means for the trial going forward. Thank you very much uh, for your time this afternoon, sir. Let's start with exactly that. The withdrawal of Kelly Kumalo's lawyer, of what consequence is it to the trial, if any? Thank you for having me and thank you to the viewers as well. Well, it's of no uh, consequence in any way in the trial. Remember, the state in any event is there to represent the, the victims. There are two parties there. It's the state is the accused person. Both parties are legally represented. But those who thought that maybe their rights would have been trumped upon, therefore they decided to instruct their lawyers to go and observe. Because remember, even the role of, 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 of uh, the, the, the attorney that has just withdrawn was to observe the proceedings to ensure that her client's legal rights are well protected, are well observed in the process. So her withdrawing does not even affect uh, an inch the, the proceedings. Mm. And it does not matter if, for instance, she becomes witness number two in this matter? Well, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Mm. Remember, when, when she came in to watch the brief, there was a confusion initially about the doggets. In one docket, her client was supposed was referred to as an accused person in a docket that was not that was not brought before court. And then in the second docket, her client was not referred to as an accused person. So it was because of those kinds of issues, I believe. But there was nothing now in this uh, that would have affected her rights in this in this particular case. Okay. Um, so if you'd allow me to please be opportunistic and take a look at legally what this means, because the um, presidency has come out with news that Russia's Vladimir Putin will not be attending the BRICS summit and this comes less than 24 hours uh, when yesterday we heard that the Democratic Alliance welcomed a judgment that was handed down by the Gauteng High Court which ruled that the government of the Republic of South Africa in accordance with the Rome statute to which it is a signatory must publicly and transparency transparently argue its case around South Africa's obligation to arrest the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, following the issuance of an arrest warrant for Mr. Putin by the ICC. What happens uh, in terms of the court processes going forward? Does it then become null and void? In fact, what the order, what the order that, uh, what, what that order says is that the affidavit by the president must be made public it must not be hidden because the president was saying, while it contains sensitive information, therefore it must remain um, out of the public uh, uh, picture. But then the court says, no, 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 no. Make this whole thing known. Let it be public. And on Friday, the matter will have to be had. Their case, my understanding of the DA's case, even though I don't have the papers, but uh, my understanding is that they want an undertaking from the South African government that they will execute the arrest warrant should uh, President Putin arrive in the country. Now it's public knowledge, as you say, that there was a press conference advising the public that the president uh, of Russia will not be coming to attend uh, the BRICS summit, but rather he will delegate the foreign affairs minister of Russia to come and attend on behalf of the Russian Federation. So the... Well, the litigation in relation to the execution of that kind of an order in the presence of this information becomes moot now. There will be no need because courts don't deal with the academic issues. Mm -hmm. I suppose the parties with the information, armed with the information that has been shared today, they will as well advise the judges because there's a judge that is busy now reading papers, preparing to ensure that when he gets to court on Friday, he's ready to engage the parties. So I assume that the parties armed with the information that has been shared today, they will take that information, advise the judge that here is the position. We don't think that uh, there will be a need for us to go ahead to say we must get another taking to arrest somebody who has indicated that he will not be coming. Hmm. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Sinawo Makangela is a legal expert.